Funny Time Happy Hour with Chuckle Hunk John Oliver. <laughs> it, last time I was rolling because I snorted Molly off a communal didgeridoo. <laughs> Different show every time, man. I'm in! I'm in! Uh, holy shit! <laughs> He delivered that line like a child on PCP opening birthday presents, which he clearly hopes are full of more PCP. <laughs> oh, yes! 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 <laughs> so, wait, it's like a person but smaller, tell me more. Does it use stilts? How does it board a bus? What I'm picturing is something about the size of five hamsters taped together or a very small lawnmower. Am I around the right ballpark here? Hey, I'm Tony and I'm mad. The Humane Society's a bunch of losers and if you disagree, you can suck my dog dick. Raga always milks the cow when its udders are swollen, but Daga is off making nonsense with a goose. <laughs> when Daga is given no dinner, this is justice. <laughs> naughty Raga, naughty Daga. If you keep, keep behaving like that, your parents will sell you to the sea witch like your sisters. <laughs> Uh, show me his pen or steal my penis. I really need to know all his positions on the penis pen show steal continuum. Where the fuck is Rachel Ray? If she's not here in the next five minutes, I'm gonna riot. Just be patient. Be patient. She'll be here. She's making frittatas and you're all going to have a taste. He, he can't show me his penis. Why? That mean old raccoon still has it. It looks like a marshmallow bisected with fishing wire. And that's all it looks like. You two gentlemen should be locked up all night long. All night, all night, all night long. All night, all night. Hey, Jamba Jamba. Hey, Jamba Jamba. They are loud cesspools of bacteria with nothing interesting to say. Oh, oh, you want to grow up and be a princess? I'll tell you what happens to princesses, Ashley. Google Diana plus truth. Do it. Do it. Google it. Google it. Google it, Ashley. Open your eyes. Being a princess ain't fun, Ashley. Fozzy first, obviously. <laughs> obviously, you go Fozzy first. Most attractive thing is a sense of humour. Then you've got to go Rolf. You've, you've got to go Rolf. Then you know what? I'm going Swedish chef. <laughs> and I'm finishing up with Sam the Eagle, cos you know he's into some freaky business. <laughs> freaky. Because he just murdered a lasagna. <laughs> and a person. Crunchy rectums in sassy pink Ray-Bans. <laughs> hashtag Beagle Feminism, hashtag Science Bitches. <laughs> Please kill me! End this! End this madness now! <laughs> you haven't met the hill demons who can curse you and your future offspring just for having a picnic in the wrong place. <laughs> you haven't met the lake dog. He's a dog who lives in a lake for reasons too complicated to get into at the present moment. And you haven't even met the gators down in Cajun country who tiptoe out of the water at night and take revenge on the swamp folk while they sleep, thus perpetuating the sick cycle of swamp folk gator violence. That's the America I know, and I promise you, you're going to be confused by it. Every gun just fired a bunch of little guns, which in turn fired a bunch of even smaller guns, which in turn fired tiny dog Wicklands, living in a state of sexual ecstasy inside the womb-like paradise of a firearm. <laughs> oh, and don't get me started on mushrooms, those filthy tramps. They'll grow next to any tree at all. Whores with spores, that's what I call them. <laughs> Is human traffic getting you down? Do you have ISIS sympathisers in those hard-to-reach places? Are you tired of getting 9 11 There's got to be a better way. <laughs> Try the AR-15, available at way too many stores near you. Medium beats. <laughs> it gives you the benefits of two whole beats, which is, and this is true, enough. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the original titles of the New and Old Testaments were Jesus said this and Jesus ain't say that. <laughs> so, look at yourself, you Hoosier. You're gonna go fly into a fucking tree. Get your life together. <laughs> fucking Hoosier. They were thrusting ourselves into the whole of American spiritual life and reaching around to grab the tent poles of secular decadence because that's what Focus on the Family is all about, having gay sex. That's right, <laughs> reducing the rate of gay sex by at least half. Still features a child who dismembered her parents and is holding their severed arms aloft in some sort of gruesome impish victory dance, and I think that's just sick. <laughs> oh, the table's on fire. Oh, my God, here comes a hibachi chef and he's making one of those onion volcanoes on the table. Now he's doing indoor s'mores. Oh, my God! 
and <laughs> we've been over this a million times before on this show. If you're a McDonald's mascot, you do not have sex with another McDonald's mascot. <laughs> Your genetics are too similar and the kids always turn out weird. <laughs> very, very weird. She found the missing piece of the puzzle, specifically a puzzle that reads, Who fucking cares? <laughs> Say that if you wanted my haircut, you would tell your barber to give you the fight on a boat in Rhode Island? <laughs> well, I would like to see you say that to my face on a boat in Rhode Island, <laughs> and that's all I have to shout about that. <laughs> Fuck you! I'll see you on the water! <laughs> or are you afraid that if you don't say it, Kavanaugh will challenge you to a fight on a boat in Rhode Island? <laughs> because I do get that. He seems like the type. You turn back around and get back on your horse, Mr. Man. Cos what you're looking at is the soft, tender little baby face of justice. You came to the wrong town at the wrong time, my friend. The wrong time. Pew, pew, pew. Baby face. Justice. Get on your horse. Ride. Most people's answer to the question, if you could have dinner with anyone living or dead, is Tucker Carlson dead. If you do talk about the show tonight, remember to tag it with the hashtag just a normal aunt, hashtag aunts from not hell, hashtag Tucker Carlson fucks his Roomba. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing there? Should we use their name? How much power do they have? And do they have a soul patch? That last one <laughs> can be a real deal breaker. Karen's ophthalmologist says she's gonna need reading glasses on a global scale. <laughs> you would rightly think, what the fuck is going on with Karen's eyes? <laughs> Big on. Swan, Louis Vuitton, Beef Bourguignon, <laughs> lots of options there. You know what's also pretty tight rhyme-wise? Oliver. I don't want just a piece, I want Oliver. Hitting all the spots that got missed, like John Oliver. You can have that for free, rappers. Uh, here's, here's something else I saw in a mug, Mary. It said, this marriage is like a locomotive lying on my chest, crushing my spirit to dust. I'm just quoting what I saw in a mug, Mary. Don't blame me, blame the mug. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Teresa's in trouble. <laughs> what they'll get, they'll be confused by it, and it will be all their fault. They're used to having their problems limited to hearing Americans mispronounce the word vitamin, not having enough beans as part of your breakfast, and having to wait 20 years for another royal wedding. How are you still single, George? Settle down already, you're this many. Find a fiancé for us to ferociously judge. Slippers, or everything looks okay at the pudding factory, or a genocide, but it's only happening to balloon animals. Whoopsie! I really thought that would go the other way. Maybe an edible arrangement will smooth things over with the man who's now emperor for life. If you look up optimism in the OED, and this is true, the definition simply reads, no. Okay, if I could just... If I could just interrupt this irritating Old Navy commercial hawking a trillion dollar infrastructure plan, I know, I know that you're probably thinking right now, if I have to listen to one more second of that, it's gonna be stuck in my head all week. Well, just be thankful that you haven't heard the rap break. Your wife is gonna seem icy and withholding around the 12th of the month, and that's because when she asked you to handle the thing with the grout in the shower, she didn't mean be the plumber's point of contact but keep her abreast of every step of the grouting process. She meant she wanted it off her plate. And she just feels like text in the middle of the workday asking if she thinks the landlord is gonna ask for the plumber's insurance. That's not off her plate. That's just you, Aaron, filling up the plate instead of the plumber. Does that make sense, Aaron? It's like the garbage disposal installation all over again. But it's probably somewhere near the spleen. Oh, to be a fly on the wall while Gina and Chuck were poring over the numbers during that year-long due diligence session. <laughs> Gina with an adding machine, Chuck randomly kicking stuff. <laughs> It'd be like watching Lennon and McCartney write Sergeant Pepper. <laughs> she lived a good life, f*** you, your grandmother died a loser! Come back to life, Ethel! You can still have that yacht! Come back to life! <laughs> yeah, I don't really care. I get these all the time. And then the lady's gonna say, ha ha, that's fantastic, but I actually need to know which account this goes into. And you're gonna say, makes no difference to me. And she's gonna say, but I can't deposit this unless you specify which account it's policy. And you're gonna say, it's all gravy. And she's gonna say, how about checking? And you're gonna say, I'm loving it. And she's gonna say, do I need to get security? And you're gonna say, the account ending in 8424, please. <laughs> if Flo turned out to run a dogfighting ring, Progressive would wipe her off their website immediately. And by the way, you know that's coming. You can see it in her eyes. There are dead dogs dancing in there. We are I in a pyramid. pyramid! That's our show! Share this video! We'll see you next week. Good night! <laughs>